Hey everybody, welcome to Stokes Volkswagen. Today uh, I'm going to be showing you a really special car here. It's a 2006 Subaru WRX and it's the wagon folks. Stay tuned over the next few minutes if you're watching with us on any of our sites, whether it's YouTube.com or on Facebook. So uh, this car is unique and the reason why I say it, well first of all it's a Subaru. It comes with symmetrical all-wheel drive. But one thing that's really nice about it is, yeah, it's a one owner vehicle according to Carfax and no accidents have ever been reported to the uh, Carfax company. So it's a very clean vehicle. I'm liking the color red. I mean, what a sporty car. And uh, this car is originally from Connecticut and in 2014 it made its way down to South Carolina. So we'll do a little bit of an in-depth video on this pre-owned car today and if I see any major dents, stings, or scratches, I'll point them out to you on camera. So any imperfections that I see, I'll point them out. So far looking good. You got your fog lights down the bottom bumper there. You know, a, you know, red, it's the original paint on the vehicle. So, you know, it's going to have some little rock chips on the hood, as you can see right there, and, and some oxidation going on and things like that. You know, these polyurethane bumpers are pretty common to, um, to do stuff like this, a little bit of fading, things like that. But I can tell you folks, if I, if I bought this car, I'd probably go ahead and have it resprayed and just really clean it up. But, you know, to be honest with you though, take a look at it. I mean, that red paint is really clean. I think the only part, like I said earlier, is those polyurethane bumpers. They do a little fading. So maybe just have the bumpers in the hood resprayed on the car. So we do got a set of alloy wheels by Subaru with Bridgestone tires. And let's take a look. Tires are in great shape. Don't need to put tires on anytime soon. I mean, those tires are in great shape, almost brand new. You got your four piston brake calipers under there by Subaru, looks nice. With a, uh, let's see, is that a six spoke wheel? No, that's a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a seven spoke wheel with a, uh, with a lock lug right there for you. So you can make sure nobody takes your wheels. You know, we love how Subaru does the, uh, the hood scoop on their cars. You know, it's kind of an iconic thing with Subaru to have that big hood scoop up there for that intercooler with the turbo under the hood. Now, I'm pretty sure it's turbo. We'll get under the hood in just a minute and have a look around and see. So as you can see, uh, you know, with a red exterior, a tan interior always looks nice. And uh, this passenger seat is in great shape. Look at it. Wow. Manual transmission. There you go. I know a lot of y'all are wondering that. It is a stick shift. I do see a small little ding right there and a little scratch. Okay. But again, take into consideration it is a 2006 model. Rear end's looking good. What a beautiful car by Subaru. And again, symmetrical all-wheel drive. So that's always nice to have. And yeah, there's the badge right there. You know, that's one thing that's great. You know, you may say to yourself, you know, I don't need all-wheel drive. I live here in Charleston. We don't have any snow or any rugged terrain or anything like that. But folks, we do get a lot of rain down here in South Carolina. And all-wheel drive is definitely going to help the vehicle handle better in those kind of weather conditions. And the handling and driving capability of the vehicle with all-wheel drive is going to be so much more fun. So one thing I can tell you with a wagon, you got a lot of room in the back of the Subaru WRX. So plenty of rear cargo space in the back. Look how clean those floor mats are, very clean. Also have the original Subaru rubber mat down here. And then this says old car stereo system because that's the original uh, stereo system right there or your uh, head unit as they would say. Because up front here, as you can see, I'll zoom in for a quick moment here, you do have a aftermarket, let's see what brand that is, an Alpine. So we got an aftermarket Alpine head unit there with a USB port, which is probably nice to have considering it's 2017 and you're going to want to be able to plug in your uh, phone or iPod or something like that. So very clean. I like how that closes up. Looks good. It's leather. Very nice. This is a clean car here today at Stokes Volkswagen. Up top you do have your roof racks and you do have your rear deck lid spoiler that comes off the back that makes it just look a little more sportier. And here's your window stickers here. So if you're wondering how many miles on this Subaru, we got 119,205, which is nothing on the Boxster engine. Uh, San Remo Red, five speed with overdrive, tan leather interior like we mentioned earlier. 
and uh, let's get on the inside and take a look around here for just a moment. So I got the window down right now so you know that our power windows do work. You got power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, little cubby hole space there to throw things. Also you have your all season floor mats down there and your carpeted ones in the trunk. And uh, this is pretty typical of the wear on the leather interior in older vehicles. You know, Subaru's seats, they're almost like a bucket style racing seat, how the side bolsters come out and everything. So you'll notice here, folks, you know, this is going to be a major area for a lot of rubbing and uh, stuff like that getting in and out of the car. Steering wheel looks good. Tachometer looks good. There's the mileage, 119,276 to be exact. Um, we do want to make sure we got cold AC today because it definitely does get hot down in Charleston and we'll let that run for just a minute here and wait for it to get a little bit warm. Uh, rear view mirror is looking good up top. Got a little microphone there for your phone system because you know back in 06 I guess they had little phone setups right there. Um, already can feel the cold AC blowing so that's definitely a plus. Got cold AC, Alpine stereo system, heated seats on driver passenger side again it's a five-speed manual transmission and got a sunroof up top as well let's look in the back and the back seats are in really good shape very clean you know the only seat on the car that's just a little rough which is not that bad is that driver's seat on the side bolsters there other than that your seats look great and carpets are clean. It's a non-smoker. I mean, I can't smell any cigarette type smell in the vehicle. Very good looking car here. Let's go ahead and open up the hood. You got your racing pedals down there for a little more grip. And your steering wheel does go up and down if you need to telescope it a little bit. Let's see if I can open this up with my, um, with a camera in my hand. So like I said earlier, yeah, you do, it is turbo. You have your intercooler right here. So that's where that hood scoop is in, uh, forcing the air into the intercooler so it can breathe and just go a lot faster than your traditional car. It is the Boxster engine right here, as you can see. And uh, I'm not particularly sure what liter it is, but I'm thinking it's a 2.5. Let me take a look. You know, if you ever wonder where can you find the actual uh, liter size of the engine, sometimes it can be found on these stickers. And uh, this one is AAC, okay? But right here, this sticker is gonna be where it probably tells you at. And let's see if we can find that, vehicle emissions. Uh, not seeing it, which I could be overlooking. But I do think it is a 2.5 liter turbo with Subaru. So that's pretty sure that's the Boxster engine size. And uh, you definitely know it is fully built in Japan because you can see the Japanese writing right there next to the VIN number and all that good stuff. It's pretty cool. Not the cleanest under the hood. The detail guys could have probably washed it up a little bit under there because the exterior looks great, interior looks good. But definitely could use a little cleaning up under the hood. But other than that, not too bad. Looks pretty good for the most part. Runs good and AC does blow cold. You know, Stokes does a inspection on every uh, used vehicle we have. And there you go. So if you're interested in taking a look or test driving this Subaru WRX, it's a one owner, no Carfax report, has ever, never had an accident on it, come on down to Stokes VW on Ashley Phosphate Road in North Charleston and test drive it with us. This is a beautiful car for sale here today, and I'm sure somebody will find it and make it right there a part of the family. We'll see you soon. Have a great day.